Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here going into 7.3.6, the final chapter. Got uh, Kong as the boss. And yeah, this is the team that we're going in with. Um, so this this path, um, it won, it has um, the charged up node, which is gonna take disable that on um, Kong and basically give you 25% attack when he gets wounded, goes into his time collapse, but he's gonna have 30% attack rating, so nothing too concerning as far as that node goes. Um, as far as the path, it's got selective time stream, which basically you need to be shocking or incinerating the opponent when the, the timer um, comes around, otherwise they're gonna heal back to full. There's really, there's no way to prevent that. Um, and it's got oscillate, so they're going to be super aggressive during the fury phase, super passive during the armor armor phase, and then you have incinerate and shock vulnerability. So you do a lot more damage when you're shocking or incinerating them. And you can see like you're hitting pretty hard. Doctor Doom, I brought in for this first fight, and it's going really really well, um, and there we we were able to bypass that first selective time stream because we had a shock up or right when it was expiring so doom has access to both shock and incinerate so basically he has a lot of um, vulnerability uh, bonus through much of the fight and yeah so far this is going really well and you're gonna see I think on this next um, set we get him down to just right at the end he goes super passive he's got his armor up and I probably should just throw my special one in there and this shock expires right before the timer goes and I had him like what was it like one two three percent something really really small and then he heals all the way back up so um, you know the the oscillate part of the node can really jack you up um, if they go super passive. You know, generally if they're under a bar of power um, and they're in the armor up phase, you can pretty much heavy spam against the wall. And you can see you can pretty much heavy spam against the wall even when they do. It's, I mean, it's not entirely safe, but yeah. So you can see I already I missed another. Um, selected time stream. He healed back up to full. Doctor Doom's still healthy. You know, this isn't like a, a difficult fight. But man, if you just if you don't get the shocks or the incinerates when that time stream is going like so, boom. If you're late, he heals all the way back up. So. Yeah, so I think I killed this guy several times. I don't think any of the other fights went um, this bad. Or I don't even, I'm, I'm not even certain that I actually had any of the other fights um, fail um, with, with the time stream healing them. And you can see that's like, I think that's the fourth time he healed. And so I don't know, I just feel like I'm really off um, on, the, on a rhythm to, to getting this and maybe I should stall a little bit but the fact the fact is is when they go in to this oscillate and you see I just was too late on getting that shock on it's just it's it's kind of frustrating so doom doom works fine um, but I, for whatever reason I just felt like I was off by I don't know half a second on all these um, and maybe I should have just like sat around for a second and then waited and then kind of got back into my rhythm. But um, champs that have more on-demand shock or incinerate debuffs are going to be a little bit more reliable. You can see, boom, he does it again. I just feel like I just kept just being slightly off to where, yeah, it was it was super frustrating. Um, <clears throat> but we do take, we do take Venom the Duck down eventually, um, and we didn't take too much damage from Doom. Um, here I'm trying to get into Doom Cycles, 
and get them with two furies. So here we go. I think I'm going to throw it now. That's going to allow those incinerates to overlap the time stream. There we go. They're doing a ton of damage. And I think I do get him down on this run. I mean, like, I don't know. I just felt like I was always like a half second off. Um, here we go. Yeah, I think he's going to die here. And centers are going. Time stream. Refreshed. So now he's in this oscillate. I'm like, no, we're, we are not. We are not dying here. Or not letting you heal back up. There we go. He's down. So a little bit of a long and frustrating fight. So just be aware of that. If you have champs that um, have um, greater access to shock and incinerate on basic attacks, I think it's better. So here we're going in with Mojo um, with Torch. I'm, I did not apply the pre-fight. Um, I'm not 100% certain if Nova Flame uh, bypasses the time stream heal. Um, but this one goes super, super, super fast. Uh, Torch's incinerates are really long lasting when you are at full temp. And he's doing a ton of damage. And here I'm just trying to wait out this armor face. He does throw a special, it's great. Um, just doing medium light mediums. And yeah, this guy goes down super easy, super quick, 34 hits. So, and that's without Nova Flame activated. So Torch works great for Mojo, obviously. Next up we have uh, Doc Ock. And I'm going to go in class disadvantage with uh, Sunspot. Sunspot's great because he's got on-demand incinerate damage with every basic attack. Um, and as long as you don't spam too many special ones, you're pretty much going to have like 100% uptime on the incinerates. And even though it's class disadvantage, the one nice thing is uh, with Sunspot, He's got perfect block while the opponent has an incinerate debuff um, on him. And that's pretty much most of the time. And so generally I am doing a shorter combo and then I'm doing a parry, getting the perfect block, a long stun, and um, sucking back in those incinerate charges and then firing Special one. I think I'll. I think I'm gonna throw off a special two here. We'll see how much damage it does. I think. I think this might about nuke him down. It. It probably would have hit harder had he not been in the armor phase. You know, the chance to crit while that armor is up is is lowered quite a bit. But yeah, we're we're just nuking him down. The time stream, not ever a concern on this one at all because we just got incinerate, incinerate debuffs for days. Um, I think this special two is going to yeah, definitely finish him off. That was a 92 crit on there at the end. That was pretty awesome. So yeah, uh, Sunspot works great. So now I'm going to go in with Sunspot again on this Tigra. Um, Probably could have used Torch, um, but I was saving Torch for the Ebony Maw um, at the end of this lane, and Sunspot I don't think was going to be used anywhere else, so I figured why not use him here. Um, he's really healthy, the rank 3, he's going to do some crazy damage, and I think I end up getting cornered and hit, smacked around a little bit. There, I wasn't, I wasn't close to her, so her special one was unblockable, um, which, you know, can't block, <laughs> which I did. Normally, I'll finish combos and I'll stay really close to her on, an, on a medium attack because I'm throwing these specials. It kind of gives that spacing to where um, she can go unblockable. Normally, if you finish like a combo with a medium and then she goes and throws it right away, you can block that. 
and not have any problems. But yeah, so here she's going, you know, that the oscillate phase, she did throw a special there, but normally you're not going to see a lot of specials thrown. And then here I'm like, oh man, I just got wrecked. Um, got all the way down to 1%, but I throw off that special too. Huge damage. Sunspot is is a lot of fun. I use him a lot in Alliance Quest. I love him. He's a great champ. Big damage. And yeah, so he's doing great. So now we're going to go on the Spider-Man uh, Morales. You can see I have Warlock on the team. I actually don't end up using him. Uh, I, I felt like you know his his um, shock wasn't going to be reliable and I can't remember and I didn't test it I can't remember if his um, his infection actually prevents the heal I, I'm pretty certain nothing prevents the heal but I could be wrong but here we're just going in with sun with, with torch and man this guy is just melting we're not gonna throw um, specials I think even though at 10 or more temp, I um, can't miss when he has his camo on with Torch. But, you know, we're just going to, I mean, this guy's melting so fast. And, yeah, it's just great. We do a little heavy spam in the corner when he's under a bar of power. And Morales goes down super fast. That incinerate vulnerability, man, it, it puts in a ton of work. So I think Torch is, is really, like the go Torch is really good. Um, Sunspot, obviously those are the two that I brought. Doom does okay, it's a little bit sketchy on, on the timing. I think Black Widow Deadly Origin would be excellent. I don't have her as a six star and I don't have her ranked up. I don't think, I think she's only like ranked two as a five star. Um, trying to think of other champs that have sh uh, shocks nebula would probably be really good now this i did this like a month ago so this is like a month before nebula was um revamped i think she could work really well and then here we're going in with torch again i again i didn't apply the pre-fight because i wasn't a hundred percent certain if uh the nova flames would bypass the selective time stream and i didn't want to test that technically i think in one of the intervals had i built up enough smolders torch would have definitely been able to out damage the full health champion and kill them fast enough but i just didn't want to test that so and then here i do get whacked by the special too but he melts before the rest of that connects and i start to get degen away so overall not too bad no deaths in the path we're going to move up to the kong boss and again, this has the charged up node um, disabled. So that's going to give me 25% attack during um, his wounded time collapse phase. Where that's where you basically do the big damage. Um, but then again, he's going to have a 30%, 35% attack rating boost for the entire fight. Um, and I think for this one, who do I swap out? I think I might swap out Sunspot and then here that was the biggest mistake I was trying to swap in Heimdall and I don't know my finger slipped and it didn't I didn't it didn't register and I think right right here I'm thinking oh my goodness I just swapped in the champion and I'm like what the heck the champion is a rank one six star and yeah, so I just I just wasted that synergy spot spot. I could have brought in somebody. Sunspot I think still would have done decent. You know he's gonna get off quite a bit of damage. Um, oh, yeah, that was that was really frustrating. Um, but yeah, we just gotta we just gotta pay attention to those prompts and then do our best to manage our power to. Um, be exactly on those prompts i should be blocking there there we go so we're under a bar of power so we're going to complete that zero i run into a block i run into a heavy i i i do that so many times in this fight through all these paths i not patient enough it's not that difficult 
to wait out as heavy, but I always am going in one, one frame, one hit too early. He's wounded. We're just back backhanding him. Here we go. We get the special three off. So the first phase, first 10% is really easy. You get a lot of power gain. It's easy to complete the prompts. Phase two, it's a little less power gain. Um, not too bad to complete all the, the special prompts. And then phase three is where it's, it becomes a little bit more difficult because you get even less power gain when dexing specials. Granted, I didn't mean to block that. Um, and then you have a constant slow trickle um, of your power being drained the whole fight. So here we need to get to zero. So we're going to throw the special three. Get down to zero bars of power. And I think he's gonna get, um, I think we're gonna get him wounded here in just a second. All right, so there we go. We need to get to another special one um, so we can gain a ton of power decks. And then, oh no, I just totally failed. So that's where Heimdall would have saved my bacon. Um, me playing like a scrub and getting hit. So here I go in, I'm like, well, might as well use the champion. I can probably finish this phase. So you can, you can counter the heavy right off the bat. Um, but if you're slow, that extra hit will, will clip you. So here I'm trying to bait him to throw a special. We get it just in time to where um, we get the power from dexing the special. Now we're kind of just waiting out this a bit. And then again, there I go. I go in, counter too early. We complete the zero prompt. Now we got to get to a special one. So we got a dex, dex, block, no. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna get a detonation here. Yep, and it kills me. <laughs> so I should have blocked that, and that would have, basically dex gives you a lot of power, blocks takes it, drains you, gotta manage that well. Here I'm going in with Warlock, and trying to play a little bit aggressive, and I'm getting clipped with uh, my open field intercepts. All right, so here we go. Special two. There we go. Now we got him into the second phase, finally. He's gonna be aggressive, which he's also, I think, fully unblockable during that aggressive phase. I'd have to check up on that. I think he's fully unblockable. Um, all right, so we got special one, good. There we go. And then I go in to hit him and go into a special one myself, and he throws his special one. I mean, I, I don't know how many times that happened with me where um, I would go in and I'd just be like a hair, a hair late, um, and then i try to intercept, and yeah, that didn't happen. So, yeah, he, he's, he got me a number of times in this fight, in a couple other fights where I felt like I could um, get him on his stand up after the knockdown and he was quick to super quick to fire um, his special so here here we're gonna get a decent run in with uh, torch um, I do have uh, the pre fight Nova flame activated I did not heal up probably could have should have um, but one thing you know, I do have a lot of items in the overflow where, you know, I, I had a bunch of team revives that I had gotten from the CAV EQ offer um, this, this last month. And yeah, so I wasn't too concerned. I have plenty of stuff that's farmed. I, I rarely have content that I use items in. So not too concerned with using a, a reviver or whatever here or there, but normally I, I kind of just don't mess around with the health pots, but probably I should have. On this one, I do a ton of damage. We got Nova Flames going. Um, 
and he is just melting that that he went from like 90 percent to 50 percent like just super super quick i think pretty much on this full cycle um yeah so we're already into phase three so had i had i um been healed up i think i probably could have gotten um a lot more off this guy again there i try to counter his heavy early mid heavy which you can do but i was late and get smacked um and then couldn't get him to throw specials my first prompt was a special three and going from zero bars to three bars in this phase it is quite difficult you basically need two l1s um, and if he if the ai is passive at all or you just fail on getting intercepts um yeah you are just it's just not gonna happen and then there made a mistake i should have blocked that last part of that special to get a power drain and are we gonna get this guy to throw a special nope and we're gonna die so like that's that's the most frustrating thing is like trying to get this guy to throw sometimes was just yeah no fun um and then you just take that that detonation damage and i brought heimdall or i wanted to bring heimdall along specifically to combat that and i brought in this chump champion i i was so frustrated i, I you know had time mattered had my items mattered i probably may have um restarted the path because the path wasn't that difficult but i mean each path takes anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes about I mean, i'm not running boosts probably can be done faster um, and i'm trying to use a variety of champs and there 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 me there i go again running into the heavy um trying to counter it quickly and get smacked so we're gonna go in next warlock i think we do end up killing him off of this revive i don't think i need to reuse any any more items um but yeah we gotta get we gotta get him to his time lapse collapsed and um wounded to get some big damage off otherwise um yeah we're just not gonna have fun times so here we just needed to throw a special there we go all right and again in this phase we are slowly very slowly getting our power drained throughout the fight and if you end a combo twice in a row in the same way that you ended the prior one you also get drained so you got to keep that in mind here we do um complete the zero prompt we push him to special one we need him to throw it okay but we got to get to special three so we got to be aggressive draft back intercepts is he going to throw this one nope and we die again so it's just like going from zero to three that's that's a tough one to do um so when you ever see a three and you have to throw a special one or a special two in this last phase i would recommend holding your special and not throwing it again I run into a heavy super fresher. I'm watching this back for the first time. This is like a month ago. And yeah. So here I'm going to I'm going to hold um my power this time. Dex, dex, dex. Great. We hit him one hit, quick tap of the special 3, which is going to be nice because it's going to activate Nova Flames. Um get some power stings if he's going to be aggressive enough to where we can get uh, more hits on him now we're gonna get to special one we do get to special one we throw it there we go and now we got to be at two uh, zero bars so we're just going to kind of dance around he's at almost one bar which is just about perfect because we can quickly hit him and get him to throw a special hopefully there we go gain our power and then try to get him back up to another bar so there i actually throw the special two we got a special one activated special two is going to stun him there we go got to get back down to zero on the next one so we're going to throw the special one he's wounded and then here we're just going to medium light medium all day long and look at him melting 16k crits 
tons of damage. I probably maybe could have done some heavies to build up my temperature and then I probably would have activated Nova Flame and I didn't react um, quick enough coming at him waking up out of that and I get smacked. So here, now we gotta get to three bars. We get a nice intercept there. We need him to throw a special. Come on, dude, there we go. Got some good dexes there. We need him to throw again. There we go. Boom, we get we get the special three off. Gonna activate Nova Flames again. So we're having a pretty solid run here, but I think I think Human Torch could easily solo um, Kong had I played well. And I'm not certain why I died there. I think maybe I because I threw the same combo ender and I got detonated. Um, you, you take some damage when you when you do that power drain, and so it, it killed me. I think that's what happened right there. All right, so we're going with Doom. We have the five-star Doom going into action. I do have the six-star Doom as well. Um, I just need one of these Dooms to finish this dude off. Um, now, Hazarath, throwing the special one, I would probably recommend not doing because you can't build... Um, his power very easily. I, I totally miss the the special, but we do complete the prompt being at special two already. So now we just got to get to special three, um, and yeah, we'll get get some damage off here. Let's see how much this hits. Ten percent to what? 9% how much damage is it? I couldn't see that. I looked back it was only 5,000 damage but yeah you don't do a lot of damage outside of um, the time collapse when he's wounded. Now we gotta go from 0 to 3 which is difficult but not difficult when all you gotta do is smack him because we got him time collapse. Let's get him down to 2%. Alright so now we're just gonna heavy him and then once that is about to expire he's going to be aggressive and then it's go time intercept and we're going to do draft back intercepts trying to get this guy um we got to get to a special three and then yeah we don't get to special three Ugh, he kind of just went passive there so we're going in our last one dr doom big boy dr doom so I can get hit a few times. Getting hit actually is beneficial. Start off with the light intercept. Um, I probably should have stopped and done a shorter combo. But getting hit works. Slow down my combo and I got just enough power. Because you also do gain power when you're close proximity. And we get the special three and we finish them off. So, you know, one team revive. Not bad. Um, hopefully this helped. Um, probably not the Kong fight, but the path. Hopefully it give you a few ideas of who to use. Thanks for watching, fellas, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.